welcome to part two. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to take a look into what a Hackintosh is. Um, over a year ago, I installed OS X on my computer. And the term of a normal Windows PC running uh, Apple's OS X uh, is the term Hackintosh. First of all, um, I'll show you some pages that can be useful if you want to learn more about a Hackintosh. You have this X OS X86 uh, project page. Um, it's called OS X86, even though it's not called OS X uh, like Snow Leopard. It's OS X, but uh, it's because it's running on x86 hardware and x86 hardware is traditionally the Intel hardware platform that is used for Windows and Linux but a few years ago Apple switched from PowerPC to Intel uh, platform and so they are also running on x86 uh, hardware um, in this uh, project page you can see installation guides, see frequently asked questions, technical FAQs, tips and tricks, and you can see uh, lists of what is the compatible hardware for different versions of um, OS X. And basically there's a lot of info here that can be helpful if you're considering uh, making your own Hackintosh. Uh, also kind of connected to this OS x86 project is the forum Insanely Mac and if you Google, if you have a problem with your Hackintosh when you're installing it if you Google that you will probably find a lot of threads in this forum which explains uh, if, how you can fix your problem so it's a good page and uh, I would recommend uh, S sipping through these two uh, just to read up before you try to build your own Hackintosh. Um, in September 2009 I got aware of something called Rebel EFI I think it was September or October maybe. Uh, Psystar, which some people might know uh, from <laughs> a certain lawsuit with Apple uh, they were selling computers with a hacked Snow Leopard, no, or Leopard OS X on, and Apple sued them, and Sistar lost. But they um, <laughs> sort of, uh, they're sort of giving the the f f Apple the, the middle finger, you know. They made something called Rebel EFI, which is a bootloader, same way. Uh, a Mac owner uses Bootcamp, which is a bootloader to make uh, to make it possible to run Windows on a Mac. The Rebel EFI bootloader makes it possible to install uh, Snow Leopard from the retail DVD. So you buy the uh, OS X and you install it without hacking it. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. So people that aren't uh, as geeky as me, uh, could find it easier to install OS X on a PC. I've I tried this and um, it works. At least it worked for me on my uh, on my Asus motherboard with the Core 2 Duo. Uh, my only problem was that I didn't get um, sound from the integrated sound card on my motherboard, and I uh, contacted support. As you see here from the user interface, you can see what hardware you have and if it works and all that, and you have a support button. And I contact the support and tell them, hey, I don't have sound, uh, can you help me fix it? And I just got a bullshit answer back that they uh, are trying to uh, make things better, la la la, and if I wanted to, I could send them my motherboard so they could figure it out, but <laughs> that was not an option. Uh, also this, at least at that time, uh, cost $50 and um, well, 
doesn't say anything here. Maybe they stopped selling it. But anyways, uh, I found out after a while that this is not needed. Um, actually, uh, Psystar has got a lot of bad rep for uh, what they used in Rebel EFI. They used a lot of open source stuff um, without giving the correct people the credit for it. Um, that has stirred some uh, people in the Hackintosh environment and Rebel EFI isn't uh, popular, if, uh, if that's the correct word. And also you pay uh, Sistar $50 for a product that they didn't make. They just took all the existing bootloaders and stuff like that and put it in their own CD and they sell it as their own product. So someone made me aware of that and they also gave me a free option which is Emperor Empire EFI. And this is what I used for my Hackintosh which I'm running now and which I'm gonna make a guide for how to install OS X on, on the hardware that uh, I'm gonna show you in a later video. Uh, basically this is the same as Rebel EFI. It's free and it has a lot of stuff here you could read through. There's different versions depending on which type of hardware you have. And um, you really should, if, if you're planning to build a Hackintosh, you, you should do some research and find out which hardware is easy to get working and which hardware isn't easy. Um, well, that's it for part two. Uh, Hopefully now you know more what a Hackintosh is, and I'll put all, all these links in uh, my description field. Um, in part 3, I'm going to take a look at the hardware I chose for um, building my new i7 Hackintosh. Hope to see you there.